In 1983, Lowell McAdam was a young Navy engineer working on his MBA at the University of San Diego. One evening, he stopped by a career fair on campus, and a Peck Bell recruiter told him of opportunities in the telephone industry. 25 years later, McAdam is engineering the success of Verizon Wireless, the world's leader in voice and data communication. I was about, uh, I think, four years into my Navy career uh, when I said uh, I really wanted to branch out and round out my skill set, and I began to look uh, for an MBA program, and that's when I went by USD. I, I really thought the program had the right balance for me. I, I say to my kids all the time, you should look for opportunities to put tools in your toolbox. And uh, I, I got more tools during that, uh, that period of my, uh, of my career, I think, than any other time. That experience is translated every day into the Verizon wireless brand. Lowell is a person who says, major on the majors. Major on the things that are going to matter, the big stuff. Focus every day on what it is our customers are going to need and want uh, from Verizon Wireless. Lowell is not your typical CEO. It's, uh, you won't find him managing the business from behind his desk. Uh, he believes very strongly in looking at the business through the eyes of the customer and through the eyes of our employees who, who treat those customers every day. Uh, so it's not uncommon for Lowell to cancel an afternoon of meetings and show up in one of our call centers or in our retail stores to learn more about the business and to actually get face to face with customers. I find that I get a lot of energy by being out in the field. The beauty of it is when you go out there and you talk to the customer first and they tell you what it's like to deal with you and you go back and you look at it. It's amazing the things you find. Some of them are pretty embarrassing, just to be very honest about it. But then you can go back and fix them. No matter how good you are, there's always things that you can turn over a rock and find something that's broken. And if that gets you excited, then you're going to be you're going to want to get up every day and come to work and make things better. It's tough to keep pace with wireless technology. With McAdam at the helm, Verizon doesn't keep the pace, it sets it. In 2008, Verizon announced plans to open its network. It is a bold move. All of the applications that people see on the desktop today, they want to have on their mobile device. We decided, look, we've got the network assets, we've got all of the elements that they would need, like voicemail, location, those sorts of things. Let's tap into that tidal wave. Let's have Verizon Wireless be the place that developers want to put devices. We paid a lot of attention to what we saw the customer trends becoming over the next couple of years. And that decision was made on a Monday, and we went out with our uh, webcast and announced it on Wednesday. And uh, three months later, we're holding our first conference, and we expect to bring the first device on the network by mid-year this year. Verizon's innovation is forged in the labs of its technology team and in Lowell McAdams' garage. There he frees his mind from building the future by rebuilding the past. My family had a uh, farm machinery business and um, my dad was running that but that meant I had access to all sorts of welders and metal and machining tools and so it, you know, it didn't take long before you started on, on uh, fixing up those 70s era muscle cars and then one thing led to another. It's something that got into my blood and has since gotten into my son's blood so he, he does this as much as I do at this point. For me the lure of doing this is all of these cars have a history and have a story to them. This car right here is an example um, was a was built the first week of May 1969 and it was built to be uh, one of the pace cars for the Indianapolis 500 that year. I think this is a car that will come back and be, you know, will be a nice kind of tribute, historical time capsule almost for that, uh, for that era. So each one's a little different, but they all got their story and it's kind of fun to bring them back. Verizon's Can you hear me now? has evolved from marketing tagline to cultural catchphrase. Verizon's success can be heard loud and clear. Technology by itself isn't going to be the differentiator. Where we think we excel is by keeping our focus on the customer and executing and delivering every day on the fundamental things that the customer wants better than anybody else. And that's really been the winning formula for us over the last nine years.